So I was waiting for this update to come out before I made a video today because this news is surrounding the much anticipated PS5 reveal and everything that comes with it along with more updates regarding what will actually be revealed. First, let me know if you want Sony to reveal their first party games or the console first if you had to choose just one. I personally care more about the games if I had to choose but I'm curious where you guys land so comment below if you would want Sony to reveal the games or the console first if you could only choose one. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the story, we've all been wondering when Sony will have their event for the PlayStation 5. Each month, we've been hearing rumors of it being this month or being this month, and it could honestly very well have been the case, but because of CV and the global situation, things have shifted. The latest rumor before the one we're going to discuss today was that there would be an event in May to reveal the PlayStation 5 in a full-on showcase case for the games on June 4th. Now, there is new information on production, which is that I've heard rumblings that Sony has not revealed the final console design yet because they want to make sure they can mass build it and it won't be too expensive, otherwise shareholders might not be happy. This isn't confirmed information, but that's what I've been hearing, but it kind of lines up with earlier rumors that Sony was having issues with nailing down the price of the console because of the part scarcity, leading to a possibly more expensive overall console. So rumors seem to point to work still being done with the console to finalize it before it's actually revealed. Outside of all of this, the latest rumor comes from the same person who stated that Sony would have a big showcase on June 4th, and this is Jeff Grubb from website VentureBeat.com. His latest rumor, which he has been teasing last week, has been written out, so let's read his latest statement. Between the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, we seem to know just a touch less about the former. Sony Interactive Entertainment hasn't shown off the console itself, we haven't seen any games. But that should start to change in the coming weeks, Sony has a couple of events in the works, and these should provide a closer look at the next generation. First is a Sony event in early June. The company was originally planning this for June 4th, but it's moving around. The exact date is more nebulous now. That doesn't mean it's slipping by a matter of weeks though. The early June timeframe is still the company's current plan. What should you expect from this early June event? Sony was putting together a roster of next-gen games, not just first party. The shifting date, however, may cause some complications in that regard. And I do not know if this is when Sony will finally show the physical console itself. It's possible, but I cannot confirm that. I do anticipate that Sony will have shown the PlayStation 5 off in detail by the start of its following event. The company is putting together one of its state of play video presentations for early August. This will highlight a combination of current and next gen games. Through August, you should still expect Sony to communicate using its blog and social channels as well. So let's break all of this down. The June 4th events has moved, but only by a few days. And this could be because of Microsoft's event, which Jeff Grubb states will happen in the second week of June. We've kind of seen the Sony template a bit here so far where they let Microsoft go first and then top them afterwards. But beyond that, we didn't know what games Sony was going to showcase, but Jeff Grubb has stated it was supposed to be first and third party games, which is similar to their 2013 February event for the PlayStation 4. He also states that that could change, mainly on the third party side, I would assume, but I guess we we won't have to wait long to find out because early June is not that far off. We might lose a bit of third party games, but I, I kind of expect first party games, all of the ones that were originally meant to be there will still be there, but I could be off about that. Now, the console. Many anticipated Sony to show the console at this event, but based off Jeb Grubb's statement, it's up in the air, but he does state that we'll see it for sure before the August state of play, which will highlight both current and next-gen games. He originally said this uh, state of play would be PS5 games focused, so I assume he's referring to cross-gen games for the current-gen games part of this event. I personally hope Sony reveals the console earlier rather than later, but really I'm excited to see what Sony First Party has in store for us. I'm definitely ready to be blown away as we are every single time they reveal something. But you guys let me know if you're excited for the early June event. What games do you think will be there? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.
And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with it's a really hot summer because right now it seems like things are really starting to heat up early June, July, and August even seem to be packed with events or a good chunk of events and I'm excited for all of it. If you are as well, destroy the comment section with it's a really hot summer and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now I'll check you guys out on the next one.